Today I withdraw $30,000 and it's all from Forex money. So let's get right into it. So now I usually don't do this, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna show you guys some motivation. Like I don't really like posting on Instagram my withdrawals and how much money I made. Sometimes I'll post live trading videos so you can see me entering a position or closing a position, but I don't like to show money and all that because I feel like it's gonna make you guys try to over trade or feel like you guys are not doing enough. And that's just gonna mess with your psychology. But today I was like, you know what, I'm pulling this money out. I might go cop a vet. So I was like, you know, let me just show you guys this, give you guys some motivation. So you guys can see straight from the bank, Wells Fargo, see, envelopes coming. Let's put one out, one, and another envelope. It's two right there, three, it's third right there, all say 10K, none of that movie shit. Feel me? This shit comes with discipline, hard work, and never giving up, bro. Like, trying to tell you, last year, this shit was not in my bank. So now that I showed you my first 30K withdrawal, I just wanna talk a little bit on what it took to get here, right? Now, I was in the same positions as you guys. Like, nobody believed in me. That's just what it is before. So I get messages all day saying, you know what, my wife doesn't believe in me. My family don't believe in me. Bro, that's just what it is, bro. Like, my family used to talk behind my back. Like, my own sisters, my own mother, they would talk behind my back, bro. They would have certain nicknames for me because they just thought I was going to be a loser. Like my sisters told me like you're just going to be a bum bro. Like you're just going to be on the street somewhere. Like people like told me this. People talked about me so much I started to believe in myself. Like you know what I can't make it. Why do I think I could be a millionaire? Why do I think I could be successful when all these other people that are way smarter than me that went to college that have a good job if they can't make it, why could I make it? And one day I just snapped out of it and I said, you know what, fuck all that, bro. I'm gonna put my mind to something and I'm gonna do it. When I was 18, 17 years old, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna be rich. I wanna be a fucking millionaire, bro. And no one's gonna be able to tell me shit. So that's what I did, bro. I started studying, bro. I started looking into wholesale and real estate. I talked about all this in my story video. I started looking at wholesale and real estate, writing a thousand letters by hand, putting two little pennies in there to try to make people open the letters when they receive it. Like I tried everything, bro. I tried drop shipping. I tried binary options. I tried everything, bro. And binary options, you know, I see some good results, but it's not like Forex, bro. Forex is life changing. And not even just for it. Supply and demand trading is life changing, bro. I tried every strategy, bro. Every mentor out there besides Q Banks, I tried them all, bro. I tried everybody's strategy. I had some success with it, but it was just wasn't right. It wasn't there. Came across Doyle, he was talking about supply and demand. And I'm gonna keep it a hundred, bro. And in the beginning, I did not fuck with bro. I just did not fuck with it. I did not like the one-to-ones. I just I did not like it, bro. I really didn't, bro. It took me a couple months for me to even start fucking with him. And then I started feeling like, you know what? I tried everybody's strategy. It's not giving me what I want. Why not just try his, bro? Why not just spend $500, try his course? And instantly I started seeing results and I was happy, bro. I did a one-on-one -on -one with him and I was getting results, but I still wasn't profitable at the end of the month. Like I was losing more. It just wasn't working out. Like I kept getting in at the wrong zones and it would take me out for no reason. And it just wasn't working out good, bro. Like it wasn't working out how I needed it to work out. So I started saying, you know what? I need to take everything that I learned from all these courses that I took and develop my own strategy. And that's what I did, bro. Because when I was looking for mentors, I got to a point where I said, you know what? If I take someone's course, I'm only going to trade like them no matter what. Every single thing they do, I'm going to do it. And I just forgot about every other course I did. I just focused. And yeah, I was getting some results, but it, that's not how Forex works, bro. You master what they teach you. And once you're getting results with that, then you add what you've learned and try to make it better, bro. But that's what I did. I took his strategy that I was having like break even week. And I started thinking about what did Mamba teach me? What did Lambo Raul teach me? What did Nick Sean teach me? All types of shit like that, bro. And I developed my own strategy. And this shit's just bringing money, bro. It's just literally like an ATM, bro. I know people be making up jokes like, oh, turn your phone into an ATM. But bro, I'm telling you, bro. I really hitting these bitches like I really be sniping this shit and of course I have losing days still but I don't have losing weeks and that's what's important and you know your strategy is good when you could teach people and they get the same results that you're getting bro like on some real shit bro not on no copy shit bro I'm finna be the best in this shit like I'm not even gonna lie to you bro like give me a year or two give me enough give me as much time as these other traders with Lambos and shit like that give me that much time and let's see where I'm at bro I'm trying to tell you bro I'm finna be copying private jets and everything bro because I'm just I'm hitting one of four as one of five sometimes one of eights on a rare occasion like they not doing that bro i'm trying to let you know right now they're not fucking with me bro but the point of this video is to let you guys know that you can do this shit bro like you can do this shit bro i got kicked out of school when i was in sixth grade i went back in eighth grade i got kicked out again went back ninth grade got kicked out again and i went to homeschool to 11th grade like bro 
I wasn't even doing my work in 11th grade. I used to pay people, all the girls around the block to do my homework for me. And I was just taking all the packets and they were graded and they'd be like, okay, you're in 10th grade now. Okay, you're in 11th grade. Like, bro, I was not doing that shit, I promise you. My mom and my sister used to be in the kitchen trying to get it done so I could pass high school, bro. Like, I was not a good kid, bro. All I cared about was smoking weed, drinking 40s, and kicking it with the homies until I was like 18, 19 years old. Like, bro, you can do this shit, bro. You ain't got no excuse. I've been there, bro. At the temp agency every damn month trying to find a new job because I just got fired in three days Bro, I've been there, bro. Now one of my tips is you need to learn from someone that you can relate to So if you can't relate to me, don't learn from me, bro Go learn from someone that you relate to but if you do want to learn from me I'm gonna link it down below and come check me out, bro. Get you a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's make some money, bro Literally all my students are seeing results, bro There's only been like one or two who did not grasp the concept and it's because they were trying to add different strategies in. you don't do that until you master it you master my strategy and then you can add things in so you know Okay, this works when I use this strategy if I add this it's not working out good I know people are gonna comment down below. He probably comes from money. Maybe his mom or dad got some money Bro, we've been broke as fuck my whole life, bro. We've been eating nothing but Top Ramen and bologna sandwiches with some Lay's in it if we had some money, bro. Like, bro, that's not the story, bro. That's not what this is, bro. I, I really got the shit out the mud. Like, nobody helped me fund challenges. Nobody helped me buy courses, bro. That was all me. I used to buy the little, the little studio foams. You know how they put that little foam inside the studio to make it like noise canceling or help with the vibrations? I used to buy that shit in downtown LA and sell that shit for three times more on eBay and Craigslist and shit like that, bro, to get some money, bro. Like, I did everything, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I used to buy little cars, little Hondas and Acuras, have my grandpa fix them or my dad. And then I sell that shit, bro, for double, like, bro, I'm trying to tell you, bro. I got a $400 car that didn't have no wheels or nothing. I saved my money up, bought some wheels, bought the little thing that turns the wheels. I don't even know what you call that shit. I took that car and traded someone else for an Acura, which was ugly as hell. The paint, like, they sanded it and they did not finish it. It was ugly. I got some paint spray, bro. Me and my mom, we painted that shit. I flipped that car for another one and just kept going and going, bro. I've always been a hustler, bro. There's no reason why you can't do this shit, bro. I made my own money to get these courses and to, to um, pay for one-on-ones and to do all this shit. Like, bro, it takes money. If you think you're going to come on here, watch some YouTube videos and be profitable, that's just not going to happen, bro. Even watching my YouTube and I show a lot of things, but you're not going to make it, bro. You need someone telling you what you're doing wrong and you need videos that are not holding back. Like, we got to hold back on our YouTube videos. It's not just because we don't want to teach you. It's because all the people that pay money for our courses, it wouldn't be fair if I just put everything on YouTube, bro. If there's someone on YouTube who has Lambos and mansions and shit like that, and they're saying, oh, I'm only doing this to help you guys, they're lying to you, bro. They're lying to you because they don't know they don't know the feeling of being hungry and trying to sleep at night. They don't know the feeling of not having no money to buy diapers for your daughter and she needs diapers. They don't have that feeling, bro. They don't they haven't been broken a long ass time, bro. I was just broke like a year ago. I hate spending money, bro. I'll be having PTSD when I be trying to buy something expensive. I'm like, bro, chill, you're gonna make it back, but it, it's just PTSD, bro. I hate being in that situation where you gotta ask people for money and they're asking you, oh, what's it for? And oh, I don't know, bro. I gotta get back to you. Like, I hate that shit, bro. So you need to learn from someone that's been there and that's really done that. Most of these traders, bro, they're not, they didn't even get it out the mud, bro. If you're learning from someone that you can't even DM them and ask them a question about their own strategy, then you don't need to be learning from them, bro. That's a test right now, bro. Go DM whoever you're learning from and ask them a question, bro. See if they write back to you. They only write back when you're sucking dick, bro. That's the only time they write back. But if you're telling them, oh, thank you so much, they're gonna write back. You ask them a question, they gonna, they're never gonna write back, bro. But this video is just to let you guys know that this shit is possible, bro. I always watch Mamba for some motivation because I seen him come from the bottom. I see him buy his cars. I seen him buy his house. So I like that motivation. So I was like, you know what? Let me give you a little motivation. Now, I'm not buying mansions. I'm not there yet, bro, but I'll be there soon. I could tell you that right now. It's just a matter of time, bro. As long as you're disciplined and you keep God first, bro, you're gonna make it. And I know a lot of people have their own views on, on God and all that, bro, but trust me, bro. If you tried everything else and it's still not working, just try giving your life to Jesus, bro. I'm trying to tell you right now, it's just gonna change, bro. I never been one that was all into it like that, bro. And then I just did it one day. I was like, you know what? What else do I got to lose, bro? I'm literally rock bottom, bro. I don't got no money. We're hungry, bro. I ain't got no EBT. Like, I was like, what else could I do, bro? Like, there's nothing else I can do. So I just gave my life to Jesus, bro, and shit's just been better, bro. Now, I don't go to church, and I don't do all that shit, bro. I just pray every day, 
I read my Bible from time to time. Sometimes I forget. Things been making more sense. I feel like people got the wrong idea. They think, oh, okay, I'm gonna go start reading the Bible. I'm gonna start praying and I'm instantly gonna be rich. And that's not how it works, bro. He's not gonna talk to you in your brain and be like, here, you gotta take a Fibonacci at this part. You gotta take supply and demand right here. That's not what's gonna happen. You're gonna give your life to God and then you're gonna keep studying and working hard. And eventually you're gonna end up to the mentor that you need, bro. You're not gonna know it, bro. It's just gonna lead you there. One day you're gonna be on YouTube and you're gonna see a recommended video and you're gonna click on there and that's gonna be your mentor that's gonna change your life. So now I'm gonna give you guys the keys to success. So when it comes to Forex, you wanna make money, you wanna make big withdrawals. Number one is you cannot give up no matter what. Doesn't matter how long it takes. I know it sounds cliche, but that's literally the key to Forex is just don't give up. Eventually it's gonna work. So tip number two is you can't be switching strategy. Pick one person that you know is a real trader that they show you that they live trade, they enter a trade, they exit a trade. You see it consistently. You see them upload their losses. Like me, I always put my losses up because I want you guys to see that this shit is not every day that we win. As long as you have a high risk to reward at the end of the month, it doesn't matter how many times you lose because you're gonna be profitable. Number three is you need to get mentorship. If you have the funds able to get mentorship, bro, get it. It's gonna make journey way shorter, bro. If someone's gonna be telling you, you're doing this wrong, you're doing this right, keep doing this, stop doing that. It's gonna make everything faster. I do have a one-on-one -on -one mentorship for 30 days where I work with you and a lot of my mentorship students are already profitable. I have a couple that got it in a couple days. I just told them what they were doing wrong and they instantly got profitable. I have one trader in there that has a 200K funded challenge. He just got $14,000, bro. He got one of these and a little bit more. He got $14,000 on his first FTMO account, bro. He passed it. The next week, he took his first trade. He made 14K. He said, bro, I'm not even trading anymore. I'm just going to pull this out. This is going to change my family's lives. And he was just thanking me and all that. And that shit's crazy, bro. Like, I feel more excited that he's making money than me making money. So that shit's crazy, bro. And I got another student named Alicia that's about to get funded. She's already a 5% on her funding account. Like, bro, I really do this shit, bro. But if you don't want to go with me, then I recommend Mamba. I recommend Doyo. And I recommend Lambo Raul. And my last key to this is always listen to the higher time frame bro a lot of people don't do it but let me tell you right now you listen to the higher time frame you're gonna get higher risk to reward